Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, it's uh, it was just a little bit of a tangle to get in here. Hello, all of you for being here present. Thank you for being here. If you are here with me live, just say so. Hi, Mark. It's like, uh, my God. As I was uh, ready to get on, uh, I had the phone ringing. I had someone knocking on the door, and it's like UPS coming. It's like, so talk about being stressed and overwhelmed that I'm counting time and I'm going, I'm late, I'm late. So, hi. Um, well, I thought I would move somewhere else today and do my presentation for Heal Talk Tuesdays from another position. But no matter what I did, I realized, uh, you know what? Just go with the flow and enjoy. So what is it that I talk about with my clients? I talk about stress. How do we overcome stress and everything? But more importantly, it's about control. This morning, I started talking about control. And why did I come up with that? Because, you know, the feeling of being in control of something is, I want to know what is it that I am stepping into, right? When we control situations, when we control, we have a control over our computers, we have a control over our office. So with that, my assistant has been gone for the last two days. Of course she is sick, so, and that's great. Not that it's great that she is sick, but it's great that she's taking care of herself because I'm this big advocate when you are not doing well uh, I want you to take care of yourself versus um, come in and be miserable and make the entire place like the energy shifts down or any, all things like that so for those who go to work when they're feeling bad uh, they are over exhausting themselves like one of my friends who overworked and pushed herself so far that her body literally shut down. So the part of control is we think we are so much in control of situations, either from our car, our office and everything. Today, I got a message that we we're working on my books and printing and there was an error. So I'm thinking, how can I do this when she has it all? And then I remembered, I know exactly where it is saved, what I can do and how I can go in and see if I can fix the problem and have it sent back to the publishing company. That said, first I was overwhelmed, then I got anxious that again, I don't know where it is, how it's supposed to be done until I took a moment, I took a nice deep breath, and then I said to myself, I know where it is. What if I can go in and see if I can do the best I can in resolving the situation. Because I have no control of uh, my assistant being sick. I have no control over that situation. But I do have a control over where my stuff is. So this thing about control, when we delegate it, we let go. So it's like in a big corporation, the person who manages everything is the person 
see if there's many departments every department has a manager right every department like the operations manager accounting manager this manager that manager and when we think about it everything works in a way like a uh, like a, a machine but it takes a long time for us to delegate train and do things in order for that machine to work properly and the same goes with our body there is only so much control we have over our body not realizing that all our internal organs are working without our control until something is off hmm like when there is a pain in our body when something is there is a discomfort and when there is a discomfort and we don't pay attention to it and we prolong it like there is a problem in a department and we ignore it that's the time that we realize what can we go so instead of reacting and having a reaction to the problems what if we become proactive you see health and wellness either internal or external is the same as having this chairman of this company putting the right president putting the right people in charge for them to hire the right managers that the managers manage employees so how do we either as one individual or as this company have control over everything i think the same way as i used to do it remember i used to have a lot of careers change one of the things that i used to have is i used to be a massage therapist until i grew the massage business so much that i had five or six people working for me and we used to do companies and organizations but when i used to get a call for one of my therapists to go on a call and when they couldn't being the therapist that i was I would rearrange things and if I couldn't find someone I would go so in a way I had control over the situation by stepping into the position and doing it so how can I help you take control of your mind and of your body so that when your body shuts down or there is a dis um there is a disassociation for you to do something about it give me a break so what if when you feel out of control in anything in your life when you feel that um Things are not going your way. You take a moment just for yourself. What if you just first take that time, the me time, to give yourself time to do this check and balance within and to see, are you really out of control? or the situation seems that it's not in your control and if it is internally what is happening so i have a client who called me in true panic and saying that he needs to come back in because his blood pressure is so high he has no control and when he takes the medication it drops so low he came in yesterday we did an hour and a half 
of true hypnosis, guided visualization, even deeper. And what I did was help him take control of every essence of his body, from his mind controlling his body. By giving his body permission to have this beautiful wave internally that goes up and down, his blood pressure going up and down, and then asking him, just imagine everything that is happening in his life. What does he believe he is out of control, that things are just out of his control, that he has no handle, and that his blood pressure is going up and down? Well, there is a lot of stress in his life, both physically, he's in pain, Emotionally, he has no support system, or that's what he feels. And you know what? Businesses down. Family member, there's two who are suffering, one with um, cancer and another one with something else. So in his life, when we looked at his life, he felt as if, he was not in control. And this guy has been a leader of his company. He's been the chairman of his big organization. Yeah. So the, the wheels are not turning the way they used to, especially when it comes to home. And there is this emotional connection with family members and he feels out of control. So his body is breaking down. Hello, Arivik. How are you? Tunde. Thank you for all of you coming in. And here's my question. Have you felt as if you are out of control and only because of a perception of what is happening in your life. You see, there is so much that you can have pure essence of control and handle. Only when we come to center ourselves, when we focus first, focusing on yourself, so through hypnosis, his guided visualization, it was all bring that entire attention to his breath, to know that he can breathe in and out, which oxygen is the first thing. It's your first survival mechanism. And then command his body to fluctuate the blood pressure and then from up and down to as if being in waves. And then taking it from his body out, right around his surrounding, just outside of him, where he was sitting in my recliner in the office. And then from the recliner through the entire office that he knew he was part of this office. Hmm? That he knew he's part of this building and he is safe inside this building. He is safe in this environment. And when he established that safety, for him to validate it. And by asking him, if he could come up with a word and by saying that word automatically, physically, mentally, and emotionally, he could just calm himself and bring that blood pressure down lower, 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 knowing that he is safe that he is in charge, that he is in control, and he can handle things 
right now, just for that hour, just for that minute, just for this time, right? So even today, as I came on, I started with all this excitement, right? But then we can easily and gently, easily and gently, gradually and gradually and gradually become more centered, more calm, more one. Mm. This is the most amazing thing that I help you, knowing that you have total control, total control of the situation. And as I and you and everyone else can take this moment to say, I matter. I am safe. I can handle this. I can handle. And I am in total control, fully and completely in mind, in body, and of my emotions. I am centered. I am centered. And when we put the mind and the body together, it's this pure essence of coming together. You see, we have the right, the left, the right, the wrong, the left, the right, the up and down, the dark, the light, the good, the bad. And it doesn't matter if it is warm, if it is cool. They are interchangeable once we bring them together. And there is this essence of balance and harmony that comes together. That's when we come as one. And this can be so powerful and yet so soft, so open, right? So giving, so pushing and holding. So in a way, we have all that within us, only that at times of panic and anxiety, at times of blood pressure and down, we know that we can bring everything into this essence of knowing from within. Thus, heal within was created because once we heal within once we believe that we are in total control in a charge of everything and that all things happen for a good reason for my assistant not being here today it in a way gives me uh, a time for me to take responsibility for my business and say, I can do this and I'm going to tackle this assignment and see if I can do this and do it to the best of my ability. And when I can't, I will either find someone else to delegate or I have to wait. And maybe there is a reason all this came about that it has to be done tomorrow or the next day. So why create the extra anxiety to go into panic. A little bit of belief and trust. So stepping into all of you, stepping into all of what is happening, stepping into all that you can. 
powerful message. Thank you, Mark. Hello, Manije. How are you? So we are talking about stepping into taking control, stepping into believing that we have the powers within to heal, stepping into saying yes to yourself. So when we think things are going out of control and things are spinning, we trust. It's the best we can do. Do what you need to do. Gather all that you have, all the information. Take, be the CEO, be the chairman of your organization, which is this organization, this organ, every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every cell, every essence of who we are. And if we need help, we ask for help. But then the rest of it, we ask. to tap within and do our best to manage it. And, and when we can't, we ask above. So today's message in a way is what can you do today that it's different? that maybe you have not um, explored to take me time before you go into this um, loop, the cycle of it's not happening, it's not uh, it, it, it's not working out or, and then every thought creates a more, negativity and that creates anxiety and the anxiety uh, attacks the because anxiety is from within and when we feel you see we feel anxious and then when we feel anxious the words pop into our head that i can't and when we think i can't is when the rest goes into this cycle but if we stop the cycle and for a moment we take that time we breathe we say i can then we stop and we say one step at a time one crank at a time one notch at a time i can if i can do this eliminate it release it i can do this eliminate it release it i can do this eliminate it release it then the blood pressure regulates breath becomes more calm easy and you take control of what is happening and it doesn't matter if it is internal or external. So please share with me if you can change one thing from this day forward. What is one thing that you choose to change and are willing to change or take account? of honoring and accepting yourself and saying, this is what I can do. And this is what I can manage for today. And that is good enough. So I look forward to seeing your messages. And if you want to reach me, you can always message me. And I do respond to my messages. This has been Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. I look forward 
to seeing you next week. And you know what? Be watchful of the messages coming because next week, starting in November, I've got this incredible new thing that is happening. We are doing Heal Talk with Lisa, and I have this incredible guest. So stay tuned for all the messages and my guest that we will be sharing. Uh, actually, I can say her name. Christine Sosa will be joining me next week, and we're going to be talking about so many things, real talk, inspirational stories, and I look forward to having you all with us. Until next week, God bless you, and may the universal light be with you. Breathe in and out. See you next week.